Good morning. Today we're here at Ollie's Bargain Outlet. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, as soon as we come into Ollie's here, I notice they have a couple decent deals on these Twinnings teas here. The Heart Tea, $1.99. This tea's been getting very expensive in the grocery stores. We get a lot of comments on them. It's the only one I see here, though check out some of the coffees here i noticed this costa rica coffee i've never seen this here before kind of interesting only 2.99 that's a great deal made with our unique hot spring twists that's interesting they have their premier roasters coffee i've got some good comments on these this is the donut shop here i've actually tried this one uh it's pretty good 6.99 for 27 ounces really isn't that bad of a deal I always like some of the random things that you find at Ollie's here. Like, look at this. Good and Gather. This is a Target product. This is hilarious. Green tea here. 48 tea bags for $1.99. Never tried this before. Let me know down in the comments if you've tried this green tea. Also, they have this Golden Tip. Uh, 24 tea bags for $1.49. I don't know. Never seen that brand before. All I see is the decaf here of Maxwell House. But look at the price on this. Now this is the 29.3 ounce, but it's only $5.99 for decaf. We got some comments on the Chase and Sanborn coffee. A lot of people on the channel like this one. This can's all busted, but $7.49 for that. And they have the Cafe Caribe or Caribe. I don't even pronounce that. Uh, 10 ounces here for $2.50. That is a big brick. It feels a lot bigger than the... Uh, Cafe Bastello, but it is only 10 ounces, same size. They do have the 12 ounce things of the Chibo coffee here. They got the roast fresh and yeah, the uh, okay, the dark roast and the classic medium roast. Got some good comments on these. These are $3.99 for a 12 ounce box. There was a lot of talk on some Bush's beans the other day. You know, $1.19 a can. These are not like the baked beans. These are the sidekick. I mean, I don't know. Those might be pretty good. These are pinto beans. Uh, pinto beans and a red chili sauce with cumin and jalapenos. That actually sounds pretty pretty enticing there. $1.19. Don't know if that's a good deal or not. Uh, we don't see those in a lot of different places. They do have the uh, Margaret Holmes. Uh, seasoned black beans. These are hard to find anymore. $1.39 a can. Another Hanover product here. This giant can of white sweet corn with poblano peppers. $1.79. This is a 39 ounce can. That is pretty big. Got some good comments on this the last time we were here. They have cans of mackerel here for $1.99. We can find better deals on that. But they also have uh, the Sugar Sam golden cut sweet potatoes these they did not have these the last time we were here there were people asking about them they do have them in two dollars and 19 cents 29 ounces um yeah i mean if it's pretty we got a lot of good comments on it uh 219 is a good price got some other turnip greens here the margaret holmes brand dollar nine for that thought i saw some kale yeah some kale greens here dollar nine for that um yeah interesting so I remember the last time I pointed this out, we had some mixed reviews, but we had one guy on the channel that absolutely loves these $3.39 for the Celebrity Boneless Cooked Ham with Natural Juices and Gelatin Added. I also have different Swanson uh, broths here. All I see is beef broth, but it's $1.79, $2.99 at Kroger. They do have the Pompino corned beef here. We got some good comments on this too, $3.99 for this uh we also got some good comments on the brookdale at aldi for that they got some organic soy plant-based beverage uh original unsweetened organic soy for 99 cents wanted to check out some of the rice options here it's been a lot of comments on rice going up in price on the channel here we saw it kroger it had gone up a bunch wow this is the two ounces of suddenly salad uh deli salad starter kit 89 cents two ounces though that's very tiny like it feels like just a box and they've got this jasmine rice here of the sri brand product of thailand two dollars and 39 cents this is 32 ounces two pounds 
last time I was here, someone asked if I seen the sardines. I did. They have the seasoned sardines here uh, in sunflower oil, $1.19 for those. And they have the Brunswick, which is the one I think you were asking about, $1.19 for that. Sardine fillets. And it looks like they have the Village Harvest Jasmine Rice back in here. This is $1.99. Uh, it is only one pound, but this is a popular one. I've only seen this at Ollie's. So I found these little packs of Mahatma uh, Long Grain and Jasmine Rice Blend. One pound for 99 cents. That's a good deal. Not much variety here, but they do have their Progresso Soups here for $1.59. $2.50 at Kroger, so, you know, I mean, it may not be the variety they have, but still a lot cheaper. I've actually tried this White House applesauce before. It's a little more expensive than it used to be. It used to be $1.49, but it is non-GMO. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I think it tastes just like Mott's, to be honest with you. Another thing I've tried is this Mrs. Eden's Kitchen Diced Fruit Salad. This is really good. This is only $1.89. This is a huge can, 29.10 ounces. Almost 30 ounces of diced fruit salad. And this is good, really good. Three bags of Pop Secret Popcorn for $1.19. This is usually $2.99 now in most stores, so that's a good deal. Another thing I wanted to point out, I haven't seen these here in a long time, and they are more expensive now. They used to be $1.99 now. They're $2.99. But these are a Cajun-flavored uh, peanut, and they are definitely some hot nuts. So if you don't like hot stuff, you may not want this, but it's good. I like it. Now for what I love to come to Ollie's for are the spices. Uh, they've got a good amount of spices and a lot of stuff that we can't find in the stores anymore. They have the Spice Supreme here, uh, and these are bigger, much bigger than the smaller ones you're going to get at like Kroger. 99 cents. 99 cents for that one. Let's see, we got the Roasted Garlic and Herb here, $1.19. Again, much bigger. This is three ounces. A lot of them are two ounces. One thing we've seen kind of go up in price lately are the like little black peppercorn like by McCormick, the little grinders, usually about $2.99. This one is huge and it's $4.49. This is the Littley brand uh, with grinder, so not bad. Uh, $4.49, um, yeah, I mean, that's a good price considering, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, but most of the McCormick bottles have shrunk in size lately, a lot smaller. So to get one this big for $4.50, it's a pretty good deal. They also have these big, huge things of sea salt by Natural Tides. This is 26.5 ounces, one pound, 10.5 ounces. The fine crystals of sea salt here. Right, how much this is? I don't see a sticker on it. Here's one right here. Let's check this one. Okay. $1.99. $1.99. That is amazing. I've gotten this one before, the Spice Supreme Cayenne Pepper. This is 99 cents, guys, and you get a lot. You get five and a half ounces of this. Uh, some people were saying they've been having trouble finding cayenne pepper. If you have an Ollie's, it's worth coming to check out, even if you're not coming to look for deals on, like, groceries and stuff. I mean, you can find a lot of good deals in here. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. Kind of like Big Lots, they have a lot of peanut options, cashews, different kinds of nuts, uh, deluxe nut mix here. Let's see, this is one... Uh, yeah, nature to go, $6.99 for that. So yeah, you're not gonna save like a fortune on these because peanuts and cashews and stuff like that have really gone up in price lately, but look at this. They got the Superior Nut Company Honey Roasted Peanuts. I've never had these before. We've gotten a lot of good comments on it. $3.79 for 26 ounces. I'm gonna buy this and try it here toward the end of the video. I'll let you guys know what I think. Somebody a while back was asking us about walnuts and that you've had trouble finding walnuts. Uh, they have one pound of walnuts here. Uh, the shelled, already shelled. It says $4.49, but okay, so yeah. But it's on sale for $3.49, I guess, so there you go. One thing that never disappoints at Ollie's are these Danish Choice uh, different preserves, uh, jams, jellies. Uh, this black currant preserves is amazing. I've tried the strawberry preserves. Those are really good too. This is probably my favorite right here. I believe they're still $3.49. $3.59 now. They used to be $2.99, but I knew they had gone up. Maybe it was $3.59. Never tried the apricot one, but we got good comments on this one. 
We got good comments on the orange marmalade also. That was a good one. Uh, a lot of these Pampa jellies too. Uh, different fruit spreads here at Ollie's. $1.19 for these. These are 19 ounces. So yeah, maybe close to the same price of what you would pay at Walmart or something. But you're definitely getting a little bit more. And um, yeah, it's a good brand. Another thing we get comments on. Somebody was saying the last time that they didn't have any of the Muscleman pie fillings. Uh, $2.29 here. Uh, it's definitely a lot more than they had the last time we were here. And they have the fried apple one, uh, which I, you know, probably the most popular. $2.29 for that one. I like this one, the blueberry. I love blueberry anything. $2.99. So it's a little bit more for this one, but I'm telling you right now, this is delicious. Looks like they got some different almond milks here. The silk almond milk. Uh, it's all the same, unsweet. Um, but it is $0.99. Cents. 99 cents. Let's check the date there. Okay, April 4th, 2023. So it's been sitting here a while. So um, yeah, you definitely want to check the dates on everything. Uh, and a lot of that could be part of the reason why they're able to get it so cheap. I, I always recommend that people check expiration dates no matter where you are. Uh, or best if used by dates, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's see, we got Ocean Spray here for $2.79. Wow. This one's $2.89 for the cranberry, but still, this has been like $3.59 to $3.79 pretty much everywhere we go now. Sometimes we'll find a sale on it, but not as often as we used to. They have the 38-ounce things of Heinz ketchup here for $3.29. $3.29. Even on sale on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal at Kroger, it only brought it down to $3.79. So regular price here at Ollie is way better. They've got the different Kinder sauces back in here. They did not have these the last time we were here. These are pretty good. I had the barbecue. I don't see the barbecue anywhere. This is all purpose with brown sugar and garlic. That sounds pretty good. $1.99. The barbecue one. Oh, here it is. There we go. Mild barbecue. This is fantastic, guys. Um, $1.99 for this. Um, it's really good, though. It's a little sweet. It's a little sweet, but I, I, you know, it's like when I cook like chicken or something, I'll put it on the chicken and kind of let the sweetness cook out a little bit and then maybe just put a little bit on the side when it's done. This is good stuff though. Glad to see that our Ollie's is packing a lot of stuff back in. The last time I came here, they were wiped out of a lot of stuff. There were empty shelves everywhere. Good to see. They got some more of these uh, tattoo different sauces in. These are like kind of, you know, I've never tried any of these, but some people have been saying they were really good. $1.99 for that. Someone was talking about the blue cheese dip being really good. They do have that up here. $1.99. So if you like to try new things and kind of do like your own melted chocolate on strawberries or pretzel sticks or stuff, I've um, never used this brand, but I will say this, for $1.49, and we did get some good comments on it, they did not have these the last time, somebody asked about them, $1.49 is a good price compared to what you're going to pay for name brand for these, they have the white chocolate also, $1.49, this is the Wilton brand, let me know if you've ever tried this melting chocolates here, the Wilton brand. So I wanted to show the breakfast sandwich biscuits that they have here. Now, I really like these, and they're $1.19. I used to like Belveda, but then they got up to $4, some places uh, over $4. $1.19 for these. This is a good deal. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. The Belveda's better, but these are pretty close. I know we're always getting comments on different keto things and everything. I've never seen these before. These are like, I don't know if this really is keto, but I don't know candy <laughs> looks like a Reese cup with mint uh in it i don't know it looks funny but 3.99 for that fat bomb snack cup uh this looks like actual peanut butter here 3.99 for these i do not know if these are good prices i've never seen these before look at this craziness maple syrup coffee infused uh sure tree to table that's pretty interesting 4.79 for that uh yeah i don't know i'd probably try this honey racha ketchup dollar 79 for this this is made by heinz honey racha saucy sauce huh it's kind of interesting what is that ketchup and honey so i randomly found this arrowhead mills organic millet flour uh it is gluten-free dollar 99 for this uh, we got a comment on this a long time ago on the Arrowhead Mills, different flowers and stuff. This is the only one I've ever seen. I do not know where else to get it. Um, $1.99, this is uh, 23 ounces, so you get a little more than what you would probably get at a like Red Mill or something. 
But it is gluten free. We're getting more and more comments on gluten free items. It's like they are getting ready for spring here at Ollie's. Got some shovels on sale. Let's see. It is $14.99 for the shovel here. I gotta say, it looks pretty durable. Time to start growing our own gardens, guys, with all these prices. Here we go, this ground hoe here, garden hoe. I don't know. Let's see, let's see. $17.90 for that. It's funny that that costs more than the shovel. So at first I thought this was a bad deal, but this is like a hedge trimmer and a pruner for $19.99. Don't know if this is a good brand or not. Let me know down in the comments if it is. I know people swear by the one they sell at Home Depot. I can't remember the name of it though. And they do have some bigger hedge trimmers here, $14.99. And then they've got a combo of the uh, bigger pruner and the little hand cut pruner here for $12.99. I do like this. I feel like it's, it's heavy duty for the price. I don't know how good this stuff is, but they actually sell grass seed here too. Um, let's see, this is $4.98. That sounds a little expensive. So I thought when I seen these, you know, everybody's seen these on TV where the hoses fold up and everything. $25 for this. I used to think, and this is a two-piece value pack, I guess. Uh, and it's just funny because my buddy got this. And I seen him use it. I'm like, this is awesome. Like, it really is. It's really cool. Uh, and you can store it anywhere. However, if you don't like those, they do have the 100-foot hoses, $22.99. Again, I don't know if these are a good price or not. Let me know down below if it is. $22.99 for a 100-foot hose. Doesn't seem like a terrible price. They have the Flexi hose here, too. I think this is the more popular one, actually. Uh, and it comes with the nozzle, with the sprayer. Um, got a different one down there. They're a little more expensive, $29.99 for that one. Let's see, this one is $14.99 though. It's a little smaller hose. Got a different little rake here. This is Scott's. This is a Scott's brand, so you know it's it's a decent brand. Let's see, this is $8.99 for that. They do have some Miracle Grow here also. This is the Liqui Feed All Purpose Plant Food. Five bottles of this. And I guess it comes with a universal feeder here. Uh, grows plants twice as big. Five 16 ounce bottles of this for $19.99. Now, I don't know what that would cost somewhere else, but that sounds like a fair price. And they do have these big bags of plant food here. These are $13.99, Nutra One. Uh, don't know much about this product, but some people, uh, we've gotten comments on this before. Uh, it is 8.8 .8 pounds. So they are completely out of cat food. I don't see any cat food anywhere. They usually only sell a little bit anyway. And all the dog food I see, no wet dog food, but they do have some uh, different grain-free dog food. This is $8.99 for this big bag here. Look at that. Paula Dean. There we go. It's approved by her. It's probably pretty good. I wonder if she puts butter in this. They do have the uh, blue here for $9.99. Uh, this is the chicken and brown rice recipe. It's the only one they have. It is five pounds. I don't know. $10 for the blue. Um... I feel like that's pretty close to the same price as it is everywhere. Maybe a dollar or two more at some places, but yeah, good to see they carry it at least. We did get good comments the last time on this Palmero spaghetti. This is 16 ounces at $1.19, so a little more than some of the store brands, but we've gotten great comments on this one. They do sell the classic Prego pasta sauce in a can. This is uh, 18.5 ounces for 99 cents. 99 cents, that's a good deal. And they've got this grated Parmigiana, the Kalana. Uh, this is $5.69 for this, but this is six. This is one pound of Parmesan cheese. Uh, never tried that one. Let's see, we got a, some thyme here. A couple random spices. What is this? Onion powder. Also, I did not find any garlic salt or onion salt. I know the salt is the stuff that everybody's looking for. Have not been able to find any of it anywhere. We saw it at Meyer, but it was a very expensive brand. Here's an interesting coffee right here. Community coffee. Coffees around the world from Brazil. Single origin. $2.99 for these. Got a little bit of a story on here. Never seen these at Ollie's before. I don't know. Might try this too. 
don't ever get this coffee. This is absolutely terrible. I think the name alone just kind of like made me want to get this, but yeah, it's bad. Um, they do have some of the Indulgio uh, coffees here. We've gotten mixed reviews on these. They are $4.49. Um, I've tried this donut shop coffee right here, this classic blend for $3.99. It's okay. It used to be $2.99, but yeah, it looks like it's been open there. But uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. They've got the hazelnut here or the Java Gold. This is actually pretty decent. I had this a long time ago, and it was really cheap. It was like $1.99. But um, yeah, it's I don't know if it's worth $3.99. It, it's okay. Good price on these Aspen Ridge coffees here. 40 of them for $9.99 at the donut shop. Don't be fooled. <laughs> I did not like it. I You know, I tried this one a while back. Um, $9.99, that's been that for a long time, though. They do sell some of the Victor Allen coffees around here somewhere, and you guys know how I feel about those. I'm not a fan of Victor Allen. I'd probably pick any of these over that. So here we got the Black Point Bay coffee. Never seen this here at Ollie's before. $9.99 for 42 cups. I've never tried this. This is the Donut Shop blend. Uh, somebody mentioned this a while back on the channel here. I haven't never seen them at our Ollie's, but it looks like they're coming in here. Never tried the Ripafrata coffee here, but we got a lot of great comments on this one. Uh, especially the Kona blend here, $21.99 for 80 cups of good coffee. I've never tried it, but I take a lot, a lot of our longtime viewers were giving praise to this Ripafrata coffee, so I'll take your word for it. I am going to try this community coffee. Now it's very cheap, so I don't know how it's going to be, but eh, it's good to try new things. Here's this garbage Victor Allen, I knew they had to have it here somewhere. It's a big stack of coffee right here. $19.99 for 100 uh, Keurig cups of it. That's got to tell you something. I got to say, it is, it is stacked with different coffees here this time around. They didn't have as much, not this much anyway, last time I was here. Uh, same of the Black Point Bay on this side, Donut Shop blend. But yeah, Victor Allen, not a fan. Okay, so I found this community coffee of around the world of the Mexican blends. Now, some of the coffees that I get when I go to Florida are all Mexican blends, and I gotta say, every one of them I've ever tried have been fantastic. So I put the Brazilian one back. We're gonna go with the Mexican and see how these, see how these taste. I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty good. Made by the same company, uh, community coffees around the world. So I know a lot of people like Yankee Candles, but the one problem that we all have is that they're way too expensive. Well, you can get some Yankee Candles here at Ollie's for $8.99. Now, some of these aren't Yankee Candles. This one is. Uh, so you really got to make sure that you're getting the Yankee Candle. But I got to say, I already smelled a couple of these. They both smell great here. $8.99. Better than uh, $17.49. Okay, well, I am back from Ollie's. Going to try some of these Superior Nut Honey Roasted Peanuts. I'm excited. We got a lot of good comments on these. Let's give it a shot. If I can get it open. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, they smell good. Delicious. Now time for the community owned around the world coffee, the Mexico version. That's good. That's real good. It sort of tastes like Dunkin' Donuts. It's got like a, or Dunkin', I, they don't say donuts anymore. It tastes a little like Dunkin'. It's got that smooth flavor, kind of its own thing. It has a little hint of Joffrey's Coffee, if you're familiar with Joffrey's Coffee. It is uh, one of the main coffee companies in Florida that actually uh, does the... Uh, uh, Disney World coffee. Really popular around Disney World and a lot of other places in Florida. I was kind of hoping for that full taste of Joffrey's. Not exactly. I feel like it's a good mix of that. A little bit of its own thing. And Duncan. It, it, I'm feeling Duncan throughout this uh, this whole thing here. It even smells like Duncan. That's good coffee. And for $2.99 for 10 pods... Well, for what the prices are today, that's not too bad. I mean, it's uh, Duncan. You can find them on sale every now and then. Ten of them for seven ninety nine. Of course, we buy ours at uh, Sam's Club, which you get a a much better deal. But I don't know. Like, let's see. So it would be nine dollars for uh, thirty of them. So eighteen for sixty. That's a much better deal than what you're going to spend for Starbucks. Starbucks and Dunkin' are 72 pods at 
Sam's Club, usually right around $42. Sometimes you can find one of them on sale. These right here are amazing. Thank you all to what, uh, everybody who wanted me to try these. These are delicious. I like when they, they give a story. I know that when you do something like this, you're paying a lot for advertising. That's probably why they're $3.79. But again, a good deal for uh, 26 ounces of honey roasted peanuts. And these are good. Better than planners, uh, if you ask me. Uh, but I like the story here. I'll, I'll read it to you here real quick. Since 1929, the Hentlian family has been making snacks from the modest beginnings of one-person operation in a movie theater basement. Uh, Superior Nut Company has grown to offer quality snacks to suit every taste. Today, our products are enjoyed from coast to coast and internationally. And it talks about how it's uh, locally owned and globally minded, meaning they think about everybody in the world when they make these. I love Superior uh, Nut Peanuts. I've tried the cashews. I've tried the peanuts. Now we've tried the honey roasted. They usually don't have these. I can see why now. Well, guys, that was our trip to Ollie's. Saw a lot of good deals today. Now, you know, a couple months ago when we went to Ollie's, before more prices started going up, we noticed that Ollie's was very expensive. Prices really haven't gone up too much at Ollie. I noticed we're finding some even better deals there. Also, you know, I know we focus a lot on groceries and food on this channel, but really kind of look when you go to Ollie's, it is like a treasure hunt. Like I know we've talked about that in other videos, but it really is. It's like some things, yeah, are, are kind of overpriced, especially for a bargain outlet, but a lot of stuff like toys, books, books. I mean, great deals on new books. Uh, different cooking books. Uh, I didn't do anything of a video on it, but lots of books on like gardening and stuff like that. And I know that's something we talk about in the channel a lot, growing your own garden, whether indoors or outdoors, you, you can do a little bit to help you save, you know, from the grocery stores because prices are, are ridiculous on produce right now. But not only that, I feel like when you, when you have a little garden or you're growing your own food, it gives you like it makes you feel good. You know, I, 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 it's hard to explain, but it makes you feel good inside knowing that what you're eating is something that you're growing. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I know this video is probably a little long, but had a lot of information to put out there and it was good to see Ollie. It's been a long time since we went there. Didn't get to go to Ollie's over the Christmas season uh, like we wanted to. We were ordering a lot of stuff online for Christmas presents for people because, you know, with Jessica and the things that she had going on, it was hard to get out and go to the stores and have her shop with me, as you guys know. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. Really enjoyed Ollie's. With all that being said, I'm out, and always remember the adventure is out there.